Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube video. Uh, I'm going to stop saying tutorials because I want to expand the channel a little bit. I am so close to a thousand subscribers, it's not even funny, and I want to thank you guys for that. Today we're going to be talking about how to add audio clips to your Google Slides. This is something that I have been begging for for a long time, and Google actually released it this summer, and then they took it back. Uh, for whatever reason but it's back it's rolling out now if you don't have it today check tomorrow check the day after it is rolling out by the end of this month of November 2019 uh, but I'm going to show you as a teacher how to embed voiceovers onto your Google Slides just like you used to could in, in PowerPoint only Google Slides shareable all the features of Google let's check it out So here we are in a Google Slides. This is just a, a presentation that I had before. And I'm just gonna show you real quick where it is. Insert audio, right there. And when we do that, it pulls up your drive. So you can only insert things from your Google Drive. That's not super helpful. That is actually kind of like, oh, oh okay, I can add music or something like that. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is for you to record your voice and then bring it into your Google Drive and then add it to your Google Slides. So let's start. The easiest way I can think of to bring your voice into a recording on a computer, let's say you have a PC and let's say you don't have any special software or anything like that. If you go to anchor.fm, anchor.fm, it's a podcasting site, which is great. If you want to get into podcasting and have your students do some podcasting, go to Anchor FM. It is fantastic, but it's also fantastic for just straight up recording your voice and downloading it as an MP3. And that's what we're going to do today. So go ahead and either create an account, log in with your Google. I have a different login, but just log in and it's going to bring you to your dashboard and then you'll see stuff that you've done before, but you're going to want to go to new episode. And I promise this is going to be quick. So you go to new episode, you have all these different things. All you want to do is record. So we're going to click record and now we can start recording. So I'm going to try this with my second microphone and let's see if I can record two audio tracks at the same time. And it's working. So I am now recording with Anchor on a separate microphone than what I'm using to actually record this video. So that's working out really well. I didn't test it. So uh, I'm going to stop recording and then here it is. It's uploading now. It's in my Anchor FM account. Um, you see I tested it earlier today. But here it is. Um, I can change the name of it to whatever I want. Let's see. Uh, video testing out recording or whatever you want to call it. And then you just click off of it and it saves it. And now I click the three dots and I can download the audio file. And now it's downloaded as a wave. That's okay. It does not have to be an MP3. A WAV five file will work. I've already tested it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Drive and I have a folder called audio recordings. Okay. I labeled it that so I could organize my life. Organization will set you free. Trust me. I'm going to click on the download. I'm going to drag it in here. It's going to upload that quickly. Now it's in here. It's all funky named but I can always go in here and rename it. Test recording. I can't spell today. So there we go. Now, if I go over to where I want to insert it, so on this slide, I want that recording. I'm gonna to go to insert, I'm gonna to go to audio, and then I'm going to see my recording here. And if you don't see it, maybe you go to recent and it'll pull it up. Um, but either way, you select on it, you select, and it pops up this little gray image that looks like a speaker, and you can put it wherever you want. Now, here's the thing. If you click on it, you get some options. So if you go to Format Options, you can tell it whether you want to start playing on click or start playing automatically. So when somebody scrolls to that slide, it will start playing. That's probably what you're looking for. So we'll leave it on automatically. Uh, we can do a preset volume. So if we don't want the volume maxed out to begin with, we can drop it down to, you know, 50, 40, 49. Uh, we can loop the audio. So if it's something that you want to play over and over again, we can loop the audio. Um, and then we can hide the icon when presenting because it's on automatic playback. 
if we switch over to on click, we can't hide it because we need to see where it is to click on it. But if we do audit, automatically play, we can hide that little icon. But I'm going to leave it showing right now because I'm going to show you something else. But you can change the color of it if you want. You can make it a little more transparent. You can make it brighter. I mean, you can adjust all these things like you can with any image because all it is is an image. Once you're done with the auto play playback, which is probably all you're going to want to do in the formatting, I can close that. And now, if I wanted to, I can replace the image too. So if I want to search the web for a different image, I can look for green play button. And, ooh, I like that one. Nope, I like that one better because it's kind of shiny. And I'll replace it. And now that's my play button. So let's take a look. Let's go to the slide before and we'll present. And oh, look, this is my slide. I'm looking at great information. Go to the next one. And it's working. So I am now recording with Anchor on a separate microphone than what I'm using to actually record this video. So that's working out really well. I didn't test it. So now, and it's working. So oops. I am now recording. There we go. So it automatically started playing just like I wanted it to. And remember, we could have hidden this, but since it's there, I can go up there and click the pause button real quick if I need to. Um, I can come over here and adjust the volume. Uh, if it's hidden, you don't know where it is, so you don't have those options. So, you know, you can make it smaller. Uh, you can make it, you know, kind of incognito or whatever. But then also, if it's there, students know, hey, there's supposed to be audio on this. Let me try clicking on it. Maybe they forgot to put it on autoplay. Or, hey, teacher, there's something wrong with my Chromebook. Uh, your, your video, you know, your, your audio is not playing on this slide. So that, in a nutshell, is how to use Insert Audio with a PC. I was also going to show you how to use an iPhone to record your audio. On an iPhone, you can swipe up from the bottom. And then I have it listed in here, but you can add it on here, but it's a voice note. So I'm just going into my voice notes. So you see my voice notes. Um, and now let's switch over to the actual screen. So here's my voice notes, voice memos. And all I'm going to do is hit record. And now it tells me my location and it records my voice. And I get to see it on there and it looks cool and all that. But I really don't care about that because I want to put this into a slide. So if I hit stop because I'm done talking, here it is. All I have to do is hit the three dots and then share, scroll over to Google Drive, and then we pick the right account, and then pick the right folder. Okay. Audio recordings, save here. Once I hit upload. So now it's there. So I can, so now I can use this audio file from my iPhone while I'm working on my computer makes it so much easier to actually record uh, the audio while I'm looking at, while I'm working on. Um, I don't have to switch back and forth between tabs or start a recording or download or anything like that. I can do it on my phone, put it to my Google Drive, then I can go to insert audio, find it in my drive. Boom, I'm rocking and rolling. If you have an Android phone, I will put in the description below a couple of links to some Android voice recording apps that I like. Uh, I use a couple, actually. The one I like the most is called Smart Recorder. Uh, it's a free app. It looks like this. It does have ads that run in the bottom of it, but it will download as an MP3. You can also share it to your Google Drive and follow the same steps. One thing I will add about the iPhone, though, is if you do use the voice recorder on the iPhone, you will need to convert it. It saves it automatically in an M4A format which you can play in Google Drive, no problem, but it won't let you import it into the slides. Don't ask me why. Uh, so if you go to any kind of online audio converter, um, the one I just tried was online-audio-converter.com. It worked just fine. It put it right back into my Google Drive. So you see, this is the one that came off of my iPhone. This is the converted one that I did just now. It took about five seconds. Um, so if you have a suggestion for an iPhone app to record into an MP3, let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll let you know everybody know about this, this great new app that you have that's better than voice memos. Although voice memos is actually really good. So if you wanna take the extra 30 seconds to convert it, uh, you can use voice memos with no problem. And so now we're back in here and I am going to insert audio 
and there it is. I'm going to select and now we have my new audio. So I hope you found this super helpful. Uh, I know adding audio to Google Slides has been something that people have been asking for for years and Google teased it out and then brought it back, but now it's there again. And like I said, if you don't have it right now, check tomorrow, check the day after, check the day after. By the end of November 2019, everybody's supposed to have it. Um, if you have a free Google Gmail account, uh, it's probably already there. Uh, it releases to the, the free public accounts faster a lot of times, so it's probably already there in your personal account, but on your work account, on your G Suite account, um, if it's not there right now, give it a couple days, maybe a week, and it will be there. I promise, Google promises, and Google promises not to pull it back like they did last time. Uh, let's hope they keep that promise. Thanks for watching my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw today, and then go ahead and subscribe and click the bell, and that way you get notified anytime I put out a new video. Uh, I'm going to work on the lighting in this room and the audio for, uh, for the future as I make more videos, but um, thanks again, and come back soon.